Hello everyone, welcome to Fame Ebong TV. So in today's video, I want to teach you guys how to bleach palm oil without using fire. You know, the old method was that whenever they want to make soap, they will have to bleach the palm oil on fire. And with that process, you will cause a lot of havoc in the compound by because of the smoke from the firewood. But now there is a better method. You can literally bleach palm oil without any fire. So that's my chemical I'll be using to do the bleaching. That's my hydrogen peroxide and my sulfonic acid. These two chemicals will bleach this palm oil. Now, the purpose of bleaching palm oil is that you can't use a, a red palm oil to produce soap because that red color will stain a cloth when you are washing with it. So it's better to bleach it and remove that red color. Get rid of that red color before using your palm oil to produce soap. So I'll be using this syringe to measure 10 ml of my hydrogen peroxide and 10 ml of my sulfonic acid. That's the measurement I'll be using. This measurement is for 1 liter. 10 ml of sulfonic and hydrogen peroxide is for 1 liter, implying that if I'm bleaching 2 liters, I will make use of 20 ml of hydrogen peroxide and 20 ml of sulfonic acid if I'm bleaching 2 liters. If I'm bleaching 3 liters, I'll make use of 30 ml of hydrogen peroxide and 30 ml of sulfonic acid. It increases in that order. So if you are bleaching a particular liter of palm oil, increase it by that order. Just follow that order. So I have ebooks for sale. You can do it by reaching me on WhatsApp to purchase my ebook. It's very rich and very informative. You will appreciate it. Just buy it and you won't regret. If you see, I'm actually warming this oil the oil has slept you know when palm oil sleep now when it sleep it because it looks hard so i want to warm it so that it will look um, soft i'm warming it on an electric stove there i'm actually warming my palm oil a little bit so that it will look it won't, it won't be sleeping so if you observe i have i have measured my hydrogen peroxide and that is 10 ml don't forget 10 ml of hydrogen peroxide and 10 ml of sulfonic acid goes for one liter of palm oil so if you are bleaching two liters of palm oil it's going to be 20 ml it increases in that order so if you are bleaching 20 liters of palm oil that will be 200 ml if you are bleaching 10 liters of palm oil that will be 100 ml because it increases in that order I gave. Use that order and you will bleach any liters of palm oil. So if you are a soap maker out there that make use of palm oil to make soap, this should help you not to be using firewood to be bleaching a palm oil again because that smoke that comes out from the firewood, that carbon four oxide is not good for the health. And it also, you can cause nuisance in your compound if you have neighbors and you are bleaching with palm oil. And you, and you know how the smoke fumes moves around so it's better you use this chemical to bleach your palm oil after you bleach it you now use the oil to make your soap it's better that way by this way you will save your the stress of purchasing firewood firewood right now is not expensive and this chemical you're using it in small quantity so it's actually more economical and cheaper you save a lot you save your life save your health and save money by bleaching your palm oil with chemical. This bleaching of palm oil is only for soap making. Don't bleach it and go and use it to cook. I didn't send you work. Oh. Don't bleach palm oil with chemical and use it to cook. You can only bleach it and use it to do what? Produce soap, not for cooking. Alright, so I have melted my oil. It was hard, so I had to melt it so it to become soft. You can see the palm oil is looking watery now. And it's still red. So, now, watch this magic. See how this two chemicals my hydrogen peroxide and sulfonic acid is going to bleach this palm oil you will see this palm palm oil looking like or having the color of um, um all this um, it will almost look like vegetable oil but if you leave it till the next day it will look like vegetable oil so the first one i'll add is my sulfonic acid that is 10 ml of sulfonic acid i've added it to my palm oil and i'm going to stir it
so the next chemical i'll be adding is my hydrogen peroxide i'm going to stir it also now these chemicals can be purchased at a chemical shop just go to where they sell chemicals for soap making and purchase your sulfonic acid and hydrogen peroxide now your hydrogen peroxide must be very strong make sure it's a strong hydrogen peroxide they are selling to you if it's a weak hydrogen peroxide this um, experiment won't work make sure it's a strong one it's not diluted a strong hydrogen peroxide will make this job done properly now if you observe i organize training on how to package just in case you are a producer out there and you don't know how to package you can do it well by enrolling for my packaging training it's very affordable just reach me on whatsapp on the number displayed on the screen to enroll for this training so after five minutes you can see the result you have seen the red color has disappeared it will keep on disappearing and disappearing like that so just observe this is after five minutes after 10 minutes you have, you have you seen the result the red color is disappearing now this you don't need fire to do anything with fire to be bleaching your palm oil this has saved the distress of buying firewood and everything after 20 minutes the following day this this oil will look clearer than this if you keep this for 24 hours this oil will look clearer, clearer than this so thank you all for watching this video don't forget to share don't forget to subscribe don't forget to comment share this video with people that you know are making soap with palm oil and usually cause nuisance in your compound share this video let them stop disturbing you with carbon 4 oxide thank you for watching and see you next time on our next video goodbye